Article 81 of the Internal Law of the Constituent Assembly is still a source of division between the MPs of the majority, led by al Nahda, and the opposition in Tunisia. The article is about the interruption of the sessions of the Assembly during prayer times. al Nahda members and their allies in the Assembly had a clear vision on the causes of the disagreement between the right and the left of the political scene. Some members of, uh, of, uh, of, the, uh, of the Assembly um, refused and uh, showed that they, they don't agree that we have the right to, to go to, uh, to pray. That's why we, we, uh, uh, we demanded that this uh, would be written in, uh, in, uh, in, this, in this law. A well-known opposition figure from the Democratic Modernist Poll, Samir Bittayib, declared that suspending the sessions of the Assembly for prayer shouldn't necessarily be mentioned in the rules of procedure because it might embarrass some members. I don't see why the suspension of the sessions during prayer times should be mentioned in the internal laws of procedure, but even if it's the case, it should be agreed upon by the majority without embarrassing some MPs. One of the youngest members of the assembly had a different opinion. Some of these think that including the term prayer in the rules of procedure of the assembly might lead to the so-called confusion between an Islamic and a civil state. But this is totally senseless because we are in an Arab Muslim country and prayer is one of our priorities. The revolution is supposed to give people the opportunity to practice their religion whenever they want. The suspension of the sessions of the Tunisian Constituent Assembly during prayer time sparked controversy on Thursday because another members and their allies are for the approval of the bill, while some members of the opposition are against this decision because they perceive it as a form of fusion between politics and religion in Tunisia. Adnan Shawashi, Press TV, Tunis.